If you search on YouTube for any sort of EFT arena videos, you will be met with nothing but negative videos describing about how bad arena is and how much work it needs. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Now, I'm not saying those arguments aren't valid. EFT Arena definitely has tons of issues that it needs to get fixed ASAP, but the game's being updated pretty consistently. I feel like a lot of hot patches, and they recently worked the recoil and the left hand shoulder peaking, vaulting, whatnot. They just added that recently. And while that might not be enough to make EFT Arena just an amazing game, I think that should be kind of an indication of what Arena is. And that is somewhere where you can really just go run around and shoot people's face off. It's not going to be one on one direct clone of EFT's base game and I think it has a long ways to go before it could be perfect but I think a lot of people are wrong about Arena and are expecting way too much out of it. At its core it's a very simple game and I think it should be treated as that. Don't get me wrong like I said before and like I'll mention further in this video Arena has tons of issues needs to get worked out a bunch of wrinkles that need to be ironed out but I see the potential in Arena it's been super fun it's honestly a blast and I think a lot of people are wrong about it so it really is becoming a place where you can go and practice your aim and that's always something i really wanted from eft just to have a place where i can run around and shoot people without having to worry about losing all my freaking stuff you know one preset that's super funny to me has to be the blackjack preset the fact that you can get a hundred round m4 and it's somewhat pretty dang accurate early on and like you're unlocking presets uh the like skill tree is kind of insane to me you can really just hold down mouse one sprite anything that moves it's hilarious but it really is a good representation of what arena kind of boils down to there's a bunch of presets that are broken there'll be plenty of times where you have a lower tier weapon and you're going against someone with better armor and a better weapon and you just lay into them hitting them like 17 20 times and you just can't kill them it, that's super frustrating that's super tilting uh there's something worse than getting steamrolled in arena it really feels like like you're fighting people with pool noodles it's not gonna happen like no matter how hard you try to kill someone it's not gonna happen so i think that could be tweaked but honestly i feel like that kind of boils down to actual what eft kind of is uh you're always gonna run into people with better gear better weapons it really just depends how you play obviously in the main game it's a little bit more ways to outplay people and maneuver around without necessarily running at them head on and, and seeing if you can land a lucky headshot or like metal them at the end of the day it is escape from tarkov it is going to be pretty dang annoying and kind of hard to win every single fight you're not going to win every single fight even if you are you know better you have better gear and you have better ammo it's just not going to happen sometimes you're going to get dc you're going to get sprayed in the legs you're going to get hit with ap20s through the face like tarkov really just is the epitome of of unlucky and sometimes it's very tilting i think arena carries that theme where it really feels like wow why am i even playing this i'm really so tilted right now this game freaking sucks it does have the same vibe as, as eft's main game it does have that feeling of like oh my god i am over this right now some issues that i really that really do bother me has to be the amount of xp that it takes to unlock each class that's a little bit annoying don't really like that footsteps i feel like i can't really hear anyone like around me all at all times it just sounds like everyone is just everywhere all at one uh, you try to predict people's movement but it's very unpredictable at times um sometimes it's really hard to listen for people and the announcer is just yelling his freaking tits off it's, it gets pretty frustrating sometimes that's something that can be fixed with like quality of life updates and hopefully it comes soon some presets are just cheese man like i said earlier that blackjack with a hundred rounder has to be one of the most freaking annoying presets to play against but it's pretty satisfying to play with i really hate how people have to ready up at the beginning of every match it's uh, pretty dang annoying because I feel like it's a waste of time. People queue up already, that means they want to play. And sometimes having to wait for someone to accept the match gets pretty dang annoying. So I think they could be done with that feature. I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, not every kit has a painkiller. Obviously, as you start progressing later and later, more your kits, your kits will have better gear. But the early ones don't really have painkillers. So if you do want to start like a new skill tree, so if you do want to start something like a new tree of kits, of, of presets, some of them early on don't have any painkillers. So if you get shot in the legs, you're kind of just sitting there so they recently changed the skill based matchmaking i kind of like it better i feel like i'm not getting into one-sided matches as much and i'm more playing against people with similar gear so i do appreciate that latest update that they had recently honestly with all that being said i still like eft arena i don't know why i got so much hate that it did i get the eod thing where people didn't get access for the longest time was pretty dang annoying i get that you know if i got eod early on i was promised a new game and someone who bought arena later than me got access i'd be pretty upset about that Battle state games.
games always has a lot of things that they need to work on. They're not, I mean, no company is perfect. I know they're a smaller company, but some things I feel like are pretty tilting. Some of the things they do are pretty tilting, and that was just one of them. I got rubbed the wrong way about that one, but maybe, maybe I'm coping. Maybe I'm overlooking Arena's issues. Maybe everyone else is right, but I don't know. I just feel like when something's really fun, I just don't want to stop doing it. And that's been Arena. Like, I haven't really gone back to Tarkov and played a new wipe and try to start leveling up my character and start questing. I really haven't done that. I've mostly just been playing Arena, trying to unlock new presets. I feel like I'm having a lot more fun. And the amount of raids that I have played in this new wipe have been pretty dang solid because my aim feels a lot better this time around. And I would say that's mostly just to playing, you know, Arena and playing TDM. I've just been enjoying Arena. I don't really know why it's gotten the hate that it's gotten. Obviously, at the beginning, there was tons of issues. I would say there's still tons of issues, but I'm looking past that. I'm, most of the matches I've gotten in haven't been like toxic or anything. They might be one-sided, but they've been pretty dang fun. I do like unlocking the newer presets, and I don't know, maybe I, I might be in the wrong, but I feel like everyone else is. <laughs> that's a that's a thing about life, right? Let me know what you guys think about Arena. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Why do you like it? Why do you why do you hate it? Let me know. Should I go back to main Escape from Tarkov and playing this new wipe more, or am I wrong for just sitting here and grinding out Arena? Really appreciate appreciate y'all hope you have a great day leave a like sub all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one